So Easter is coming and a lot of us think of bunnies and chickies and duckies and all those cute little fuzzy things. Not me. When I think of Easter, I think of dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus rexes really are really what I think of when I think of uh, Easter. And you're going, Miss Brandon, really? Easter? Dinosaurs? Well, after we read our story today, you might start thinking about Easter and dinosaurs as well. Because our story today is called, Here Comes T-Rex Cottontail. Now, there's a song that goes along with Easter that goes along with this story. <clears throat> Ready? Here we go. Here comes T-Rex Cottontail, hopping down the bumpy trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. You don't know that one? Oh yeah, it's a pretty popular one. Um, you know, T-Rex Cottontail, sure. So let's read our story. And maybe you will start thinking about Easter and dinosaurs too. So here comes T-Rex Cottontail. There he is. There's some details in these pictures we're going to look at. First of all, check out his little whiskers. He had to tape them on because, you know, T-Rexes usually don't have whiskers. T-Rex was looking in the mirror. Not bad, he said. Not bad at all. Just then the doorbell rang. He answered it. It was his friends Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon. Oh, why the funny ears and big cotton tail, Diplodocus asked. Tomorrow is Easter, Stegosaurus said, not Halloween. Peter Cottontail, also known as the Easter Bunny, has a cold, T-Rex said, and he asked me to deliver his eggs tomorrow. But you can't hop, Iguanodon said. I've been practicing, T-Rex said. Check out his cotton tail. Because, you know, that's what rabbits have. The three friends looked around. Where are the eggs, they asked. At his house, T-Rex answered. I'm hopping down there now to get them. Diplodocus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon watched as T-Rex wobbled and hopped out the door. I'm afraid those eggs are in for a shell-shattering trip tomorrow, Stegosaurus said. T-Rex can practice when he gets back, Iguanodon said. Too late, Diplodocus said, looking out the window. Dinosaur has on bunny slippers. <laughs> Poor T-Rex. Wobbling and hopping up the bumpy trail, he stumbled and fell and landed splat on Peter Cottontail's basket full of eggs. What a mess. T-Rex walked slowly into the house. What now, his friends asked. I don't know, T-Rex answered. Oh, poor T-Rex, but he tried really hard. Suddenly, T-Rex had an idea. We'll get more eggs, he said, and color them, and I'll have some to deliver on Easter morning. Where will we get more eggs, Stegosaurus asked. Hen gave all of hers to Peter Cottontail. There must be some more out there somewhere, T-Rex said. Diplodocus grabbed the empty basket. You stay here and practice. We'll get the eggs. Isn't that nice his friends are helping out? They knew it was important to him to get those eggs delivered. By the end of the afternoon, T-Rex had gotten the wobble out of his hump. And his friends had gotten more eggs. T-Rex was pleased. Where'd you get them? He asked. From Duck and goose, and turkey, Stegosaurus said, and one from Screech Owl. We better start coloring them now, Iguanodon said, or we won't be done till dawn. Late that night, all the eggs were colored. T-Rex and his friends were asleep and snoring. Unfortunately, when the sun came up, T-Rex and his friends were still asleep. But the children weren't. They were at their windows, awake and waiting. Shouts of, where are you, Easter Bunny? Could be heard. 
T-Rex heard them. He jumped up. He put on his funny ears, his cotton tail, his long twitching whiskers, jacket, and bow tie. I'll save an egg for Peter Cottontail, T-Rex said to his friends. Meet me at his house later. We'll give him to him then, he said, hopping out the door. That's nice. Save one for the Easter Bunny. The children were still at their windows, waiting and worrying until T-Rex hopped into view. Cool, they shouted. That's one really big cottontail hopping down the bumpy trail. When all the eggs except one had been delivered, T-Rex started hopping back up the bumpy trail. Thanks for the eggs, Mr. Really Big Cottontail, the children called after him. Anytime, T-Rex called back. T-Rex hopped to Peter Cottontail's house. His friends were already there. Do you have the egg, they asked. T-Rex nodded and rang the doorbell. Peter Cottontail answered it. T-Rex handed Peter Cottontail the egg. For me, Peter Cottontail asked. T-Rex and his friends nodded. No one has ever given me an Easter egg before, he said. Thank you. Check out what kind of slippers the Easter Bunny's wearing. Ah, he's wearing Tyrannosaurus Rex slippers. Just then the eggs began to crack open. Crack, 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 crack. And dozens of tiny ducks started quacking. And dozens of tiny geese started honking. And dozens of tiny turkeys started gobbling. This is the best Easter ever, the children shouted. Then Peter Cottontail's egg began to open. Crack! And one tiny screech owl started screeching. Peter Cottontail was surprised and delighted. This is the noisiest Easter ever, he said. The noisiest and the best. I shall never forget it. Nor shall we, said T-Rex and all of his friends. Happy Easter, everyone. So, see, now my song makes sense. Here comes T-Rex Cottontail, hopping down the bumpy trail. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Well, I hope you have a beautiful Easter weekend and I can't wait to tell you your next story. Have a great afternoon.